Hey, phone science users. So let's say that you have a landing page that you've shared on Facebook. And after you have shared it, you've decided that you don't like the image because it's truncated on the left or the right, right? Or maybe you decide that you need to change the, the title or add in like a description or something like that, right? Um, after you have made a post on Facebook, Facebook's already going to scrape this data, pull it in here. And then the next time you go to post this, uh, it's going to continue keeping that same image in the title and the description, um, even if you've made a change back in phone sites. And there's something called a Facebook debugger that you would need to use to be able to basically what's called scrape. You're going to rescrape your page to pull in the new picture or title or description. So let's walk through that process. So right now I have um, this random Toledo Mud Hens logo here, which obviously doesn't match in with uh, this description or this title and description of getting a free pizza, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back into phone sites really quickly and go into settings and I'm going to change my logo here, right? So if you're watching this video, you might not even know that uh, the title or the description or the image, like what these are, but these three fields pertain to what you see back over here, the image, the title and description over here. So if you're setting up your first funnel, uh, there's a good chance you're probably going to overlook these three options. Definitely don't do that. Go in, create something that's very, very catchy for the title and description, and then also uh, have a very catchy looking image too. One where the, the central focus of the image is going to be uh, right in here. So it doesn't truncate like the, the mud hens icon or, um, uh, not icon, but their graphic, right? Okay, so let's let's just go find a, a pizza image real quick, so we can make sure that our image is congruent with the offer, right? So that uh, all this looks good to me. Let's just select this one. That's a huge picture. <laughs> um, let's see here. That's good. Let's like save here. And then let's go upload this image into phone site. So I just clicked into that, uh, the previous image that I had so that I could get into the gallery, which is what you see here. I'm going to go ahead and select upload image. And then let's find our pizza image and then select open. And now my pizza image is going to be all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then select insert. And now, of course, you know, I could take this image, I could put it into Canva. Canva.com, which is a really awesome tool. Um, Canva.com, or you can use some other editor out there, but Canva would be pretty cool because then you could put some text in over here. Um, and then you could download the, the image and then upload it into, uh, into phone sites, right? Okay, so I've got my image in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So watch this. I've already made this save. If I go and repost my, um, my link here back into Facebook, then watch. See, it still pulls in the old logo. So I need to go and I need to use the what's called the Facebook debugger. So I'm just going to refresh the page here real quick. That way the page is ready for me to add in a new post whenever I have used the debugger. Okay, so what's this Facebook debugger, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to go and search in my Chrome browser for Facebook debugger. And then um, this is it. It's developers.facebook.com tools debug. And so my uh, link for the landing page, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to drop that into this field right up here and then select debug. And then um, sometimes you'll have to hit this scrape again button multiple times. I think this is a step that sometimes some people aren't aware that you have to scrape again a couple times they they expect that maybe it's already scraped but for whatever reason it, it may be lagging okay so i'm just going to go ahead and select scrape again and it's still not pulling in my pizza image so let's scrape again and there we go so facebook whenever they're scraping they have to try to find that data out on uh the servers that are out across the internet in terms of like where this um <clears throat> 
this content is saved, right? So it may have not hit the, the right server that they're looking for at that moment or something like that. Anyways, so we've got that, the pizza logo image uh, displayed there. It looks all nice. I love it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Facebook. Now I'm ready to go ahead and make my post. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drop my URL in here. And so now we've got our logo or image, whatever you wanna call this. Sometimes some people do use their logo. I think it's best not to use the logo. I think you wanna use something that's uh, pretty enticing, right? Like a logo is not enticing. I, I'm not gonna click through a post or an ad that has just a logo. I'm gonna click through something like this because I'm hungry for pizza right now, right? Okay, so that all looks good. One more thing, before you make your post, get rid of the URL up here. You do not need that. Um, they're gonna be clicking through either the image or like right here, and that's gonna take them to the, the landing page. This is where you wanna put in some really, really, really enticing copy to make someone wanna click through the rest of this. Don't just post this um, link and then remove it and then expect someone to click through the image. They're not, they need some really awesome copy up here. And the copy that you need to put up here needs to be congruent with whatever copy that you have back on your landing page. Obviously, I don't have any copy on here right now just because I'm using this to like answer people's questions. Someone had a question about active campaign. Another person had a question about um, adding in buttons and so forth. Um, anyways, enough of that. So once I select share now, and whenever that's finished uploading, Boy, that's taking a while. There we go. Okay, so someone's gonna see this in their newsfeed and then they're gonna click again, like I said, either in the image or right down here in this little gray box with like the, the title and description. And then that should take them to the landing page. So that is why you don't need to have that URL added in there up above. That's why you need to put the, the copy in there and remove the URL because they're gonna be clicking right through here. Hopefully that helps guys.